legacy so Wicked Picket Vince The Wicked Picket Vince Back door production And Cosby Soul Affiliates And your week kick Your boy Pick Vince It's uh, November the 6th Election morning About to go get my vote on Rocking the hoodie for Trayvon You know what I mean? The only thing I'm really, really caring about in this election is Yeah, that's right. Issue 70. Gotta have a library. Education is the most important thing. Education is tied to the economy, so let's see what happens today. Yo, so it's election night. It's uh, 7 18. You know, the polls going to be closing soon. I haven't watched a lick, of, a lick of it. You know what I'm saying? I haven't turned on the TV since I've been home and had the uh, music. Playing on the cable box at work, so you know, I'm just not coming outside. Again. Pick up the old trash can, that's why you hear that noise right there. So, you know, I gotta speak a little louder so you can hear me. Be done in a second, but you know. So, since, you know, like I said, it's about 7 18, 7 20, something like that, you know. Um, haven't watched none of it. You know, I don't want to get caught up in it and stress if one thing don't go another way because it really don't matter. You still just got to do what you got to do. But like I said earlier in the day, hopefully everything turned out, you know, for the better. It's all the same team any really way, but, you know, I got my, my voter sticker on right there. You see that? That's the voter sticker. And like I said, it really don't matter. Same team when it comes to all the politics. King, dicking, you gonna get fucked. <laughs> Heard up, you know, it's all the same. But the reason I, you know, I make sure that I get my vote in this because, you know, because people came before us, the generation that came, in some cases, gen one generation ahead of us. Some cases, cast this out there in the 20s, maybe two or three generations, because, you know, kids have kids now, 14, 15, when they 20 something, their grandparents. So, you know, generation is kind of real funny now, but, you know, I know. In the 60s, my mom was already in her 20s, so, you know, the stuff that they had to go through to get voter rights and the Civil Rights Act movement and all things of that nature, you know, um, that's why, I, you know, I make sure I vote no matter what it's for. You know, I mostly vote on the local things, like them libraries I said earlier. <laughs> got to have them libraries, man. We got to keep our heads going. That's how we get out of troubles if we all really, really educate ourselves, really educate ourselves, you know, not just school, but outside of school. Turn off that bullshit, turn on the History Channel, Discovery Channel, Learning Channel, Travel Channel, I mean, Science Channel, Smithsonian, PBS. Now, you know, like I was saying, though, you know, because of the, you know, people who came before us, in my case, like I said, one generation, you know what I'm saying, I vote for that uh, one purpose, you know, because they struggled just to, so they would have voter rights, and, you know, and went through a lot of different things in that time period, and uh, really fought for their rights, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I think, you know, in some ways, we really got to learn to follow that, you know what I'm saying, and start fighting for our rights, you know, not violently, maybe not as peaceful as uh, Martin Luther to the King, you know, Martin Luther the King, you know what I mean? You know, but, you know, we ain't got to get wild out. I think that just being educated, you know what I'm saying, you know, separates us from that time and, and gives us the ability to really, you know, make a push for everybody being happy. It's possible. You just got to do it. The bottom line, you know what I mean? Word up. But anyway, you know, Back to the um, legacy programming, you know, we just want to give you a lot of aspects of life, a lot of different views of life, you know what I'm saying, you know, we're trying to change perspective of things, so, you know, you know, keep checking us out, we're going to bring you a lot of funky stuff, you know what I'm saying, freak show in full effect, you know what I mean, we're going to be bringing you all types of stuff, but it really just blow your mind, you know what I'm saying, because we ain't coming with the normal, you know, poo-poo, the normal poo-poo, before diarrhea, son, full diarrhea, 
Word up, man. We, 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 we uploading it on you. Now, I mean, you the waste facility, you know? Because we're we going to give you that shh. Yo, what up, your boy Pickett? Now, I mean, welcome back to another episode of Making t Making of a Classic, Eternal Legacy, Picking Dubs, Excellent Adventure, Return to the Freak Show. Yo, it's still early. Dub is just getting out really, so you know, we're gonna work on some stuff for you. Know, it's been a great weekend. You know, Friday, us day, me and the wifey. Yesterday, digging and dining with Mike and Brian. And now Sunday, Veterans Day. Shout out to all the veterans. You know, yesterday was my pop's birthday. Shout out to him. Rest in peace. It's been a great weekend. And it's just going to continue. You know what I mean? So we're about to try to knock out a couple songs a day for you. You know, Picking Dubs, Excellent Adventure. You know what I mean? Return of the Freak Show. Making of a classic. So what's going on with this, uh, this new song? What's the new Eternal Legacy song? Well... Featuring um, Sante from Shadow. Um, Kid's been uh, spitting since he was, before he could talk, which is very impressive. And shows you the magnitude and the impact that hip hop can have on the human soul. You know, this album is going to be pretty dope. You know, we're not going to, it's going to still be our album though. We're not going to have like 12,000 features on there. You know what I'm saying? You know, featuring this person, featuring that person. But we do have one significant feature on there, you know what I'm saying? I don't think anyone in the history of, of, of collaboration is going to be able to top this. This is probably the oldest person, or, or, or not person, but entity that could feature on anything that's still around. Because if they weren't around, we wouldn't be around. Featuring on the Legacy album, Earth. Oh, 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 the Earth? The Earth, man. You don't hear what I'm saying? The Earth. You're saying you got the Earth on the, on the Eternal Legacy album. We're we putting the Earth on the album. The Earth. The Earth sings. The, oh, oh, hold oh. on. I don't know if y'all checking us out and I really hear it correctly, but Eternal Legacy, Picking Dubs, Excellent Adventure, has the Earth on the album. Is that is that right? The Earth is on the album. The Earth. It's on the album. Th that's heavy. I mean, literally, the Earth is heavy. I don't know what track number it's going to be, but the title song is going to be called Spit. And the earth is laying in there, singing through the track. That, that's amazing. The earth. The earth. Yeah. And it was divine. It was, it was, you know, it was meant. My man, he sent it to me. He said, yo, you got to put this in the song. I said, oh, okay. So I heard it. I was like, yo, yeah, that has to go in there. Okay. And it just locked right in perfectly. I didn't have to manipulate it. I just, I didn't have to manipulate it. I just sampled it and it sat right in there. That's amazing. Temple and everything locked in. I didn't have to freak it. That is amazing. Earth song. Earth song. Yeah. Yeah. Earth song. The and like, Earth. and like, the, the, I had no, the track, you know what I'm saying? I had no aspirations of doing anything with it. It was just a shell of a track. My man heard it. And he was like, oh, yo, what? Yeah, and next thing you know, he wrote for it. Had him shadow. You know, he wrote for it. He came spit a little verse on there, 12 years old, man. First time, I don't know, like first time recording? Yeah. Yeah, first time recording. This dude been up there, knocked it out in one take. And, like, had the confidence, like, he'd been doing it for years. Like, really? I know guys that's 40 years old that still have trouble... <laughs> <laughs> having confidence on the mic when they record. You know, that record factor is a mother. No problem yeah, at all. It's a different dynamic. Yeah, no problem at all for this kid. 
but you know, the track was still kind of hollow, you know what I'm saying? So, once they got on it though, and then my man Pickett gave me that, the, the, the Earth song, the, 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 the track just talked to me. So, like, it went from just shell of something to just, and it evolved into something else. I was just in here, I was asleep, falling asleep. I couldn't leave it alone though until, until it was done. But, yeah, it, the, the track from the original track sounds like a totally different track. Yeah. You know, totally different track. It's totally different. Yeah. All, all because of the earth. The earth, man. The earth inspires you. I mean, people don't appreciate that we are actually on a live, living entity. Right. Right. And yes. if you can't get inspiration from... What you're riding through the space of. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, the earth lets you breathe. Yeah. The earth, is, the earth that's why they call it the Mother Earth. It's mother like the, Earth. The, the, the ultimate mother. It, ultimate mother. You get your food from yeah. it and you, the water's on yeah. it. And Nurturing, uh, you know, we're, we're in the womb. Wow. So, you know how, you know, your woman is pregnant and, you know, they. You, you know, you can talk to the baby through the belly, you know, or you can play music, you know, through the belly. And, uh, you know, it, in, it in influences the child as God speaking to us through the through, through Mother Earth's belly. Sweet. Yeah, playing, playing divine, divine music. Tempo. Fence here. We got a full house in the studio today. We got my brother Moan. What's happening? Niece Carly, niece Jasmine, son and shadow. They been a little bear over there. We 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 get full house today. What up, Moan? What you gonna tell the people? Man, hey, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, keep your head up and do what you gotta do to make it. You know, just as well as my do my baby right here. You know, and, and everybody in the room. I love y'all. Word up, word up. <laughs> But we're going to let Mom check out some of the songs from the album, so, you know, we'll get at you in a minute. Break, break it down. And then break it down again. Break it down for Okay, okay, okay. I know anybody is familiar with the medicine called Alka-Seltzer. Yeah. Been around for years and years and years. You know the commercial. Yeah. Plop, plop, plop. Fist, fist. Oh, what a relief it is. You know what I'm saying? When you got an upset stomach or something and you sick, you just throw the two little things in the water, bloop, bloop, fizz up, drink it, you feel better, right? That's yeah. that's eternal <laughs> legacy. That's what we are. You got you got ponder this. You got hip hop music. It's the water. The water is sick. It's ill. We black, right? White folks call us niggas. We call ourselves Niggas. What? So the name of the song is Alka Selsa Niggas. You put both of us in the water, we fizz it up, and it's all better. Plo, plo, fizz, whiz. Oh, what a release we is. Alka Selsa Niggas. Alka Selsa Niggas. Okay, on that, we're going to play the song. Yeah. Back at it again, you know who it is. Your boy Pick Fence for sure. AKA Odelphus Pearl Dino. AKA Lovelicious. AKA J to the Wizzy. AKA J Web Booty Sapphire Muara. AKA P 
pick it Picasso extra bizarro for shy. Definitely in the spot. Just you know, dropping y'all some what up, what up. Thank everybody for um the throw the else up campaign is rolling real good. You know, keep um sending those pictures, you know, if you see me. I'm definitely on, you know, throw your L up so I could take a snapshot in the song, you know what I'm saying? It's all about that L, eternal legacy and love, you know. L to the three powers, you know. Eternal legacy, love, and learning. Word up. So, you know, keep checking us out. We pop up every once in a while with little updates here and there, but really we on the grind. So this is pretty much all you're going to really see us. Actually, too much of us is on the YouTube or Facebook or whatever. Every once in a blue moon. Mostly YouTube you see us, you know, but, you know what I mean? We working, we grinding. You, you're going to be hearing a lot, lot from us, though, when our music starts to drop. Maybe we'll drop a single this month in December. You know what I mean? Yeah.